Hello friends, uh, today I am going to show you how to solder uh, a ESP8266 D1 Mini uh, VMOS. Uh, generally it does not come soldered with the pins, uh, so you essentially need to solder them. Um, there are many ways you can do it, uh, but I will show you the way that I prefer and uh, generally consider the most easiest. Uh, generally it comes with a header pin, the 8 pin headers, these. Uh, so. The best way to actually get this done is actually take a breadboard. I have taken a mini breadboard, uh, but you can take any standard breadboard. And what you do is you just put the pins up front on the breadboard like so. And then what you do is uh, put your D1 mini uh, on the board like so. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that it fits well. Right, and then just give it a little bit of a press, and then you're all set. As you can see, it's not at soldered. So the single most important trick uh, for you to essentially uh, make sure that uh, uh, this works well is that um, you heat the pin. That's a store soldering 101, and then let the um, solder flow in. So let me show you how I generally do this. Uh, also, uh, when doing it, make sure that you uh, do this side once and the other side also so that you have some stability and it does not move. Let me show you this. So what I've done is I've taken a sold soldering rod, a typical uh, Stanley soldering rod that I have. Uh, you know, just let me just clean this up and thin it. And there I go. So what I do, this is the trick here. So let me position this well, as you can see here is take it here heat the pin and let the solder flow in voila you are done so the first soldering is done similarly make sure you do it on the other side pretty straightforward all done all right there's no hard and fast rule there generally helps make sure you're all good all right You'll find tons of videos for this online. There you go. Heat the edges, solder it up. Heat the edges and solder it up. Heat the edges. Heat the edges. In the pin, there you go. Make sure it flows well. Right? Just move the solder around a little bit so that it grabs on properly. Take all the excesses. Just make an observation. Most of it is looking great. Let me move to the other side. There you go. Pretty simple. I know generally uh, soldering is a nightmare for many, but it does not have to be. This is just a 25 watt uh, soldering rod that's available off your local electronic store. Uh, that should essentially do. There you go. Pretty straightforward. Of course, before you pick it off, uh, the final step is to ensure that uh, it has actually come out well. Uh, looks pretty reasonable uh, the way I have done it at this point of time. Thanks for watching the video.